Hello friends welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about tab napping. If you want to see practical demonstration of tab napping attack then comment below. So let's get started after a short intro. Before getting started let's first understand what is phishing. Phishing is a process used by scammer to steal the sensitive information like username, password, bank account number, ATM pin etc. through website or email or SMS. Now let's discuss how does phishing works. Phishing is a type of social engineering technique which is used to fake out users and steal their identity. First, the attacker buys a compromised server, or uses a hosting service, and uploads the phishing kit to the server. Here the attacker creates a phishing website which looks like an original. Once the website is uploaded now the attacker will find the target users. Now the attacker will create a phishing mail saying that Congratulations you have won the jackpot and please enter your detail in the given website. The link of the website is given below. The attacker sends the email to the target user. The user fall into the phishing trap by seeing the jackpot and opens the phishing mail and visit the phishing pages and enter their detail. The phishing page would look like this which does not have HTTPS URL. The phishing kit processes the credentials detail and sends them to an external email account. Finally, the attacker get the details like back account number, password etc. Now let's understand what is tab napping. Tab napping is a new form of phishing. In tab napping, Attackers take advantage and control a victim's unattended browser tabs by hijacking and redirecting him to malicious URLs where they can perform a phishing attack and execute scripts. Now let's see how tab napping works. Attacker sets up a website that looks completely normal. Within the website's code, they place a checker to see if the tab has become inactive. Inactive tabs are tabs that you are not currently using. You can see this is an active tab. A user visits this innocent looking website and assumes nothing is wrong with it. And remaining both tab are unactive tab. The user then switch over to another tab to perform other activity. Without closing the previous tab. This means that the innocent web page has become inactive, which then activates the scammer's code. Now you can see before nothing has been changed. But after a long period of time, the innocent looking web page has been changed to gmail page. The title of web page has changed to gmail page. Now we assume that, by seeing the title of page you remember that you need to send a email to your friend, so you go over to the gmail tab that is inactive. The web page looks identical to the login page of gmail. User go to that web page and enter his gmail login id and password, and finally attacker gets the user detail, this completes the tab napping attack. Now let's see how to protect from tab napping attack. First is to make sure you always check the URL in the browser address page is correct before you enter any login details. Second is always check the URL has a secure HTTPS address even if you don't have tabs open on the browser. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the like and subscribe button.